We're here at the Forbes Under 30 Summit, Africa, with the President of Botswana, President Masisi. Uh, a lot of people are saying in this continent of 1.4 billion people, you went to a country of 2 million people. Why? I know why, but I'd like to hear from you why. You know, you go to a country where there's the greatest chance of success, the greatest chance of reaching out to the very 1.4 billion people. Our telecommunications infrastructure, particularly TV, and uh, uh, linkages with uh, satellite technology can reach the 1.4 billion. I think one of the biggest challenges remains the one of language. Uh, and so we'd work on that and provide uh, a multilingual um, uh, programming for that. But we represent a country that is stable, that's forward looking, that has no known enemies, that is a uh, member in good standing of the AU and SADC, uh, the UN, um, a country that is the uh, oldest, longest, stablest, multi-party democracy on the continent. Yep. The cradle of peace and stability. Yes. Right here. And a country that promotes the private sector mm -hmm. and protects the private sector with our independence of the judiciary yep. and our ability to settle differences um, quite timelessly and, uh, and, 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 and comfortably yep. uh, to everybody. A respected mm -hmm. governance system and uh, architecture. And so when you talk about Botswana, you talk of integrity. Yep. Uh, and it's known and, uh, and accepted by all our, 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 our uh, uh, compatriots in Africa that's and the world. That's right. No rule of law, no entrepreneurship, no, yeah. no, no vi vibrant business system. Yeah. Tell us what you're doing to, to foment uh, entrepreneurship in Botswana. Well, um, uh, you know, last year we were here and I made the announcement that we're going to form a new ministry, yep. a ministry of entrepreneurship. So it's one year old. So our resolve right at the top is to promote entrepreneurship. It's a culture that's needed, particularly when you position that within the context of our population dynamics. We're a very young country, a very young continent, and it is the efficacy and efficaciousness of young people, the drive for young people, and the inspiration and hope that's provided by governing and governance system that's going to drive innovation and solutions to problems of the world. Yep, yep. When, we, uh, when we first talked about bringing this here, we talked about, you know, I remember you uh, mentioning that you wanted Botswana to be the Singapore of Africa, you wanted yes. it to be the Israel of Africa. Uh, you know, talk a little bit about that, the idea of a laboratory here in Botswana. You know, Botswana is um, uh, resourced enough in terms of the attitudes, the willingness of those in leadership and in government, financially resourced enough, and in the governance system, sufficiently positioned to make the fastest and most impactful change. Yep. It is a country that's well disposed to trying out new ideas, because our whole, our whole development trajectory is premised on learning from others. Yep. And so we have a, a culture of that. I don't know where else it could succeed better than in Botswana. Right. And how is, the, how is the, di the tradition of diamonds here in Botswana, how has that helped or hindered your, your drive for entrepreneurship? Diamonds have been a, a, a marvelous you know, um, uh, uh, endowment uh, for us. And uh, we've done our best to uh, really uh, um, uh, uh, reposition ourselves on the back of the earnings from diamonds. First, we educated our people. Two, we built our infrastructure and we continue to. Three is we relate with others in commerce terms and we're able to do that. And right now we built the world's biggest diamond sorting valuation center. We have 12 sites a year. People come from all over the world. So the place for diamonds globally with good governance and prominence is Botswana. Right. And, and we want to use this advantage to catapult ourselves uh, with respect to entrepreneurship and development of businesses. Love it. All right, so we have the largest, last question, we have the largest audience of entrepreneurs and young entrepreneurs in the world. What we, you know, you've made it very clear Botswana is open for foreign investment and open for, for you know, startups to come yeah. and base here. What's, what's, the, what's the elevator pitch as the, 
Well, the elevator pitch is right here where we are, Bozana uh, Digital and Innovation Hub. Um, it's, it's settled within a, what's called a special economic zone. So there are many, many advantages that we provide for persons to come here. So we want to uh, attract those. The, you know, one of the things that we are also trying to do, because we're constantly iterating with young people, so we see this as an opportunity to iterate with them more so that we can make the pitch even better as we link with our tertiary institutions. Uh, and so, you know, in terms of financial stability, in terms of banking, in terms of startup capital, in terms of technologists, in terms of the inspirators or persons who have done it before and to in incubate them, we want to provide the best home for that. Uh, and we'll continue to engage with the best, such as with Forbes, you know, in your networks, to make this your home. Okay, well, we're very glad you're our home in Africa. And uh, we look forward to not only are we having a great event here, but we, uh, we've already confirmed that we're coming back next year. We can't wait. So uh, again, we appreciate, we appreciate you hosting us. Uh, and I think people have been very impressed with what they've seen. So, but again, thank you for your time. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better and more impactful next year.